What's up YouTube? My name is Clickwood and I am back again bringing you guys a new video and today you're going to be seeing a lineup update from my Madden 25 Ultimate Team. As you're going to see, I've made quite a few updates to my team since the last time I did one of these videos, but I still kept a few core elements that I just don't see changing much between now and the end of the game to be honest with you. But that's not what I want to talk about in today's video. I actually have a couple of things that I want to touch on that are somewhat related to the video I guess but not entirely and uh, first things first earlier this week marked the end of my budget series here on Madden 25 Ultimate Team and I want to thank all of you for the support that you've given me it's been really cool to, to be welcomed into this community over the past few months and I'm really looking forward to continuing on it's been really cool to see all these subscribers added to my channel it's been amazing to see all the video views I'm actually almost to 2,000 subscribers here on YouTube now, which is a pretty good pace for a channel that only started earlier this year. Uh, I think it just goes to show that if you really put time and effort into your videos and you really think about the end users, the people that are watching the videos, you guys, people are typically going to like that content. And I know I can't please everybody and I never will be able to, but it's cool to see that you guys have pretty much enjoyed what I've been putting out and what I've been doing because I've enjoyed making it. Now, with the budget series coming to an end, I don't want you guys to think that I'm just going to become another typical Madden YouTuber that just does pack openings and occasionally does gameplay and, you know, that kind of stuff. That's not my style. That's not what interests me particularly, to be completely honest with you. Um, yeah, I'm going to continue to upload some head-to-head -head seasons here and there and maybe mix in some coin games, but I really want to have fun content. And that's kind of what I focus on. I want something that's going to be informative for you guys, something that's going to be interesting for me to create. And if you are a fan of my budget series, I think you're going to really like what's going to be coming up in the near future here on my channel. I have some cool ideas, and uh, seriously, I think you guys are going to like it. Also, for those of you who aren't big Madden fans, I have some content coming for you as well. MLB 14 The Show and EA UFC are going to be coming out in the next couple of weeks. I guess I don't know exactly what the day is for EA UFC at this point, but I know MLB The Show is in early May, so I'm excited for that. And I'm fully planning on producing a few series from those games as well. Now, I really don't know exactly what's going to be coming from those series because I haven't played the games. But I figure if I'm going to be playing the games anyway, I don't see any reason why I can't share that experience with you guys. Don't worry, there will still be plenty of Madden Ultimate Team content, so don't worry about that. But... I always think it's good to mix things up, to keep things fresh, make sure that I'm not getting bored with the content, and I'm sure if I'm bored with it, you guys are going to be, so I definitely want to keep things fresh. The second thing that I wanted to talk about today is something that has to do with my channel as a whole, I guess. Uh, this past week, I actually signed a contract with a network that will allow me to make a little bit of money from my YouTube videos, and I know what you guys are thinking. Sell out. Well... I want you guys to know that there will be absolutely no changes with my content just because I'm partnered with YouTube now. I'm not censored in any way whatsoever. If anything, this will actually allow me to do more than I could have with the confidence that I have a network backing me in the case that anything does happen to go wrong and, you know, if my channel somehow got a strike or something that sh it shouldn't have. I have a network backing me now, so that's, that's always a good thing to have. Now, if you're wondering, I actually signed a contract with the Curse Network, known as Union for Gamers. And I know a, a lot of you are probably unfamiliar with them. If you're familiar with networks at all, you've probably heard a lot of places like Machinima, Full Screen, Maker Studios, RPM, etc. But Curse is actually bigger than you might think. If you're a fan of Madden Ultimate Team or FIFA Ultimate Team, you've probably actually heard of them and maybe you don't even know it. They actually own both Mutthead and Fudhead, which are probably the biggest resources for those games on the web currently. So not only am I part of a reputable community that knows a lot about Madden, they're also one of the coolest networks that I've seen when it comes to the benefits that you receive. There are a lot of things that are really cool about Curse. Like, for, first of all, they have possibly the best revenue sharing plan of any of the networks that I've come across. Most of the networks that you've seen probably take 30 to 40 percent of the ad revenue from a channel that they sign but curse shocked me because they actually allow the content creator to keep 90 percent of the revenue that they make that was a huge plus to me in fact i've been actually told by the, some of the biggest madden youtubers that their current contracts only give them 80 percent 
So that means that my little channel that hasn't even cracked 2,000 subscribers yet is actually getting a higher percentage of the ads on my network than the big guys are. Now granted, they're still making more money than me, a lot more money in most of the cases, because they get more views per video, but it's interesting to me that Curse is actually willing to take such a small percentage of the profits. And the other thing that really grabbed my attention about Curse was that they don't force you to have a locked-in contract. Without saying any names specifically, I know a couple of fairly big Madden YouTube channels that are stuck in one or even two year contracts with their current networks that they can't get out of. That means that for the duration of their entire contract, they cannot renegotiate for a higher percentage of their ad revenue. Not only that, but they can't leave and go to another network even if that other network is offering them a significantly better deal. So what's great about Curse is that for whatever reason, if I don't like the way things are going, I can leave whenever I want to. No questions asked, no BS. I just take the money I make for the rest of the month and walk away. They do not own me. And before anyone asks, no, Curse is not paying me to say these things about them. In fact, it, it's another really cool thing about this network that they let me speak my mind, even if it's about them. And the last thing that I thought was pretty cool about Curse is that it gives me the opportunity to make money by referring other channels to the network. So if you're watching this video and you've got a channel that you're looking to get partnered, click on the annotation in the video right now or look into the video description below because you're gonna find my referral link there. And if your channel was accepted, I actually receive a bonus each month for the first six months of 5% of whatever you make for the month. So that means if you make $100, I get an extra $5 for referring you each month. And what's even cooler about that is that the 5% doesn't come out of your cut. It comes out of Curse's cut. So you'd be helping me and my channel out while getting your channel partnered with a really awesome network. So it's kind of a win-win on that end. Now, the only requirement for being partnered with Curse is that you have at least 8,000 total views over the past month, or if you have 1,000 subscribers and at least 4,000 views. So if you're not there yet, please keep grinding away. Don't fall into the trap of joining one of these crappy networks that's only going to pay you 60% of the ad revenue that you earned, especially when they're going to keep you into a contract for an entire year or more. It's just not worth it. Wait it out and apply once you're big enough to start generating some decent ad revenue. Trust me, you will thank me later, I promise you. Now, I'm not going to act like I'm making anything substantial from Curse at this point. It's not a substantial amount of income at all. It's certainly nowhere enough to live off of by any means. But what this little bit of extra income is going to do for me is that it's going to allow me to spend more time working on my videos, coming up with unique and new content for you guys, and hopefully giving me some of the physical equipment that I need to make things cleaner and more professional in the future. I know ads can be annoying sometimes, and I apologize for that, but you know that's the world we live in at this point. But trust me, if you can grin and bear them, there will be some great things coming from this channel in the future. I promise you that. So anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I know a bunch of you asked me to do this lineup update, and I didn't want to do the old, typical, boring, oh, hey, guys, here's my new team video. So if you do have any questions, please leave them in the comments section. And as always, I'll do my best to respond to every single one of them. If you liked today's video, please click that like button, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more content. I'm telling you guys, you are not going to want to miss the content that I'm going to be putting out in the next couple of days and weeks. You're going to love it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.